All right, um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, some uh, examples of homogeneous ODEs and how to solve them. So we have got uh, three examples here. Uh, in the first one, we have got y squared dx minus x into x plus y dy equal to zero. And then in the second example, we've got uh, this ODE with a given initial condition. So B is a, an IVP. And then uh, C, uh, we are going to find the general solution again. Now, uh, in a typical um, exam situation, uh, you wouldn't be told uh, that... Uh, uh, this equation uh, or this ODE is homogeneous so I'm going to proceed uh, as if uh, we didn't know that okay so in that case whenever given an ODE your first point of contact is always to check whether uh, separation of variables can work because that typically works out um, simplest in all the types of equations ODEs that we're going to see. So here, uh, M is uh, just a function of Y only, so that's fine. And then the problem is with N here, because you cannot separate the X's and the Y's here by uh, factorizing. So that means uh, separation of variables just uh, applied straight away is not going to work. So then the next thing, um, if we look at this, all the functions, both M and N are polynomials. So here the power of Y is 2. Look at these in both terms. If you add the powers of X and Y, they're going to be 2. So this is suggesting that M and N are homogeneous of degree 2. Okay, so that's uh, why we're going to um, try the method of um, uh, the homogeneous uh, ODE approach. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this in the form dy dx equals 2. So and uh, this time this is going to be y squared all over x squared plus xy. Then um, we're going to divide through everything by x squared. Um, you're going to see why uh, this is going to be helpful in a moment. So this one is going to be 1 plus y over x. Then after that, we're going to make the standard substitution. So remember, y is equals to xv. This also means that v is y over x. So this is exactly why we were dividing everything by x squared there. So that's the highest power of x in the expression. Now, um, so remember, when we make the substitution, this left-hand side, by the product rule is always going to be v plus x dv dx. So that's uh, the derivative of y with respect to x. And then the right hand side we can can now be expressed explicitly or exclusively in terms of v. The numerator is going to be v squared. The denominator is going to be 1 plus v. So the first thing I'm going to do here is we're going to bring the v to the right hand side. So 1 plus v here, minus v. And then we write this as uh, one fraction. It's going to be minus v minus v squared, 1 plus v. So it's going to be negative v over 1 plus v. Um, and then what we can do uh, is um, 
um, so we've got uh, x dv dx so if we um, flip both sides okay and take the dv to the right hand side then on the uh, left hand side we're gonna have dx over x on the right hand side we're gonna have negative 1 plus v over v dv um, we can integrate these as they are or can bring them to the same side first integrate them as they are uh, maybe before we integrate uh, let's uh, uh, rewrite the right hand side as negative 1 over v plus 1 dv right so this is going to be lin of magnitude x equal negative uh, lean of magnitude v plus v and then let's say plus lean k and then if we bring everything to the one side we're going to have lean of magnitude x lean magnitude v plus v lean k then there's going to be lean of uh, x v plus v is lean k x v according to our substitution is just y so this is just lean of magnitude y plus v is y over x lean k um and then if we uh, take this to the right hand side then we can uh, take exponentials on both sides this is going to be actually it's going to be k so this is going to be k e to the minus y over x and then if you remove the absolute values it means our solution is plus or minus k e to the minus y over x so enter so that is our general solution there okay um so that's the first one uh now let's go to the second one um so the second one um, so the second one we have um, 3 into y minus x e to the y over x dx equals x into 1 plus 3 times e to the y over x y again if you try to factorize here you're gonna have a bit of a problem um, uh, just uh, if you are thinking of trying the method of separation of variables this is not going to factorize all right and then in terms of um, um, homogeneity okay this is going to be a homogeneous of degree one. Let me just uh, maybe do them. So this is our M and this is, um, well, N loosely. They should be on the same side. So that's like negative N. Okay, so M of lambda X, lambda Y is going to be three into lambda Y minus lambda X E uh, maybe let's just use uh, this notation so lambda y over lambda x so this is going to be 3 lambda y minus x the lambdas there are going to cancel out so it's just going to be e to the y over x so this is a uh, homogeneous of degree 1 and then if we do the same thing with the negative n Okay, when I have lambda x here, then 
1 plus 3 times exponential uh, lambda y over lambda x um, so lambda x again the lambda the lambdas are going to cancel out uh, here in the exponential term so again uh, this is just lambda times the original function lambda times the original function so both of these are homogeneous of degree one so um, following uh, the procedure we used uh, in the first example so we're going to write this in the form dy dx equal to so if we do that in this case you want to be 3 into y minus x e to the y of x uh, then x into 1 plus 3 uh, e to the y over x uh, then we are going to divide this x into the numerator so I'm going to write this as 3 into y over x minus 1 y over x 1 plus 3e to the y over x notice that the argument of the exponential is already in the form y over x which is what we want then if we let or set y to be equal to x v which means v is y over x the left hand side is going to be v plus x dv dx as before the right hand side is going to be 3 into v minus 1 e to the power v denominator is going to be 1 plus 3e to the power v then as before we take v to the right hand side so 3v minus 1 here 1 plus 3e to the v minus v okay uh, then uh, if we do this um, we are going to find um, negative v plus 3e to the v all over 1 plus 3e to the v if we work this uh, fraction out correctly all right um then um what we are going to do um is uh um if we flip them as before and take dv to the other side then we're going to have dx over x this side then we're going to have uh, um, negative um, 1 plus 3e to the v over v plus 3e to the v dv okay um, then this integrates to lean x and uh, this one notice that uh, uh, this is the derivative of that so again that's just going to be lean v plus 3e to the v and then plus uh, lean k um, then if we um write this in terms of um okay let's bring every uh the uh this term to the left hand side so we're gonna have lean mod x lean v plus 3e to the v equals to lean k then if combine this we're going to have lean x v uh, plus 3 x e to the v is equal to lean k now remember x v is y so it's going to be y 
uh, 3x uh, e to the v is y over x uh, then this is going to be lin k now the um, uh, initial condition given for this problem is that when x is 1 y is equal to 0 so we're going to plug that into this equation here um, so on the left hand side we're going to have lean of 0 plus 3 that's going to be e to the power 0 so it's just going to be 0 plus 3 is lean k so this is just saying lean 3 is lean k so k is 3 so that means we can write our equation as lean 1 y magnitude of y plus 3 x e to the y over x is equal to lean 3 if we take uh, exponentials on both sides then uh, this is what we are going to have if we remove the absolute value signs then the right hand side is going to be plus or minus three and so that is our solution right um at this point we're going to uh give you the opportunity to have a go at uh, c so if you just uh, want to pause the video have a go at c and then when you are when you are finished um then you can press play and then you're going to find um our solution which you can then compare with uh, your one all right um we uh hope you have uh, had a go at uh, example c here we're not going to scroll down to our solution um so in this number c again you'll find that uh, if you try um, separation of variables it doesn't work so if we write it uh, in this form dy dx uh, then we set uh, the y equal xv which is the standard uh, substitution for homogeneous ODEs then the equation is going to be v plus x dv dx equals v squared over 1 minus 3v take v to the other side and write this as one fraction uh, it's going to give us 4v squared minus v over 1 minus 3v then if we flip both sides and uh, take the v to the other side then uh, this is uh, a polynomial degree one over degree two vectorable this so we can resolve this into partial fractions and it works out like that again if you're not up to speed with partial fractions we have uh, 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 videos uh, in this channel which you can check um, then of course uh, integrating gives us uh, uh, lin x equal 1 on 4 lin 4v minus 1 minus lin v plus lin k then if we bring uh, these to the one side we're going to end up with uh, lin x v minus 1 on 4 lin 4v minus 1 is equal to lin x multiply everything by 4 then this becomes a new constant here so and then we can write uh, the left hand side as a single term uh, if we take exponentials and uh, remove the absolute values then the right hand side is going to be that which we call um, a new uh, term a constant a and so that is going to be the general solution of the ODE. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully these are useful. Uh, please do subscribe um, if you find them useful. Thank you.